my memory of language is really old for me. My mom had this old typewriter, and we would type Danny on it. We did plants, and we did fish types and bird types. So I heard a lot of Danny, and then of course we had to go to this place called school. And I really hated it because there was nothing at school that reflected anything about me. I psychologically and emotionally was in a different world. Oh, Chen Pa, do you all meet in Tay Lot, huh? Oh, you Chen Pa, do you don't tell you that you all he meet in Tay Lot? Colonialism is a very dark existence. And to be a subjugant of colonization is tough. You're continually trying to find a way to fill this void in yourself, your psyche, your being. Language is one of the fillers of the empty vessel. To be the last fluent speaker was never a goal of mine. There was a mess of us that all started learning language. There was a bunch of us that were getting underneath of this and learning culture and dance again. And, and at some point I turned around and looked back and I realized I was alone. And we're trying to work it out. We're trying to figure it out. What I want them to have is an organic experience with a language. It's just happening. It's a part of life. But I also want them to be made aware of that it's fragile. Children learn in their own unique ways. And they learn better when you present them with topics that have to do with their home place, their foods, their plants, because it is based in who they are. No, kids are sponges. Like, you start using language, they listen, pick it up, and they start using it if that's all the input they get. They're just wonderful little beings that love input and will give it back to you. He, 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 that, honey? Do, he, 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 I wanted my kids to know their grandparents, you know, have their own relationship, so they could learn as much from them as, as they could. When their Ahmet talks to them, they can think about things in that lens. Going through my journey in life, my biggest role has been as a parent and as a grandparent. And in our community for many, many years, there weren't a lot of positive role models for Indian kids. And that was what Laura and I have always chosen to do. Bringing back the language in my grandchildren, my kids, and the songs and the ceremony, it hasn't been easy, but we've always chose to pick those up and carry them forward. Sometimes I wonder what have we done to our kids and our grandkids because we've given them so much responsibility. But that's what we chose to do, and that's how we live our life. Santas, 
ตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาต
And we just keep speaking in the language as much as we can and encouraging them to do the same. And you know, in the end, they need to make their own decisions, their own choices. Learning how to learn the language is its own process. Our language is a verb-based language, and you can tack all this information onto a verb, and it means this in English. And it's like, oh, what are these sounds in the language? You know, what's a tss, you know, and you no, know, so not so now you want me to say dog is ah? I was like, yeah, let's hear it. So that the ne son nachi chatte. So that the ne son nachi chatte. There's more resources now to learn our language than there ever has been, but. It's still not the same as if you try to learn French or Spanish or German or Hmong or, I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's just not there. Shut down, shut down. Oh, that's when it, huh? Or, that's when? Ilani Shutnata. And then you gotta find people to speak with. So it's a process, but, you know, you can keep at it. You want to me? Or Nansha? There's these little coals, and these are what's left of our languages, these little glowing embers. And what I've been trying to do for 40 years is push those little coals into a pile. And that's kind of how I visualize where our languages are today. That's how fragile they are. There's always been the light and the dark. And when you walk in a spiritual way, they tell you, the brighter your light shines, the harder that dark side's gonna try and put it out. The traditional teachings, their laws, we follow those laws, we practice those ways, it makes the world a better place. You either choose to pick those up and carry them, or walk away and be part of the problem. You know, this is four generations that it's taken for us to get to this point. Knowing that the effort that you're putting forth and the path that you're on is something that was started way before you came into this world, I think is really powerful. Our ancestors that survived and the ones who didn't survive, they sacrificed for us. And it's really important for us to now be able to turn around and sacrifice for them. And if that means taking time out of our lives to help this language survive, then that's what we need to do. Just <laughs> <laughs> Language and culture and you know who we are is purpose. 
And when that goes away, that is a vast amount of information that is lost and that relationship that is lost. You know, it, it, it can't be reproduced in a year. It can't be reproduced in 50 years, 100 years. So it's, it's tragic. Humans emerged at some point out of the, you know, our past, our distant long ago past. Our languages have brought that information from that time to now. No one on this earth knows the oldest language in the world. But this understanding of the universe is bound within your language. It forms a worldview. It's a huge, magnificent puzzle that all locks back together and is described by your language or through the lens of your language. That is probably the most sad thing when people don't get to have that. And the dreams of my aunties and my mom's dad's generation was, we want our children to understand that they have a beautiful language. It's not a caveman's language. They don't go, um, ah, uh, igwa, ooh, uh, uh, like the Westerns used to make us. You know, that it's actually one of the most challenging, you know, languages grammatically on the planet. So I carry that too. I carry those wishes that they put in my heart.